What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Chris, and this is my review of the new PDP headset, the Afterglow AG7 Fully Wireless Headset for your Xbox One. Currently, this is going to retail for $100. And again, there's no adapter cables to your controller, to your console, besides this transmitter that connects to your USB port on your Xbox and will give you chat and audio. This is going to give you 16 hours of battery life. That's great. This gives you 40 feet of range. That's great. Fully wireless for $100. Awesome. Audio on this is really good. You get a bass boost and a flat audio, meaning the audio you normally get. And I experienced no issues with connections. I had no drop signals, no audio coming in and out. And the audio quality is actually really good. Um, comparing these to other hundred to two hundred dollar headset of course you have a simple this is your power button and when you tap it when it's on it is also your mute button you have your connect your you know audio nozzle game and chat and then you have different ports in the bottom for charging and for your mobile use a mobile you get the little inline mic or the audio connector for your mobile device and audio quality is good it gets really loud it does block out a lot of sound as these do isolate sound the mic itself you can monitor your voice so this way you do not shout this is when you have your mic on when your mic is off your mic is off so you cannot hear your voice now I mentioned what's great about the headset what's bad about the headset is the mic quality is bad I asked my brother and like five other viewers and people I play with um, how's the mic quality and they all said it's bad. My brother said it's worse than the mic in the Connect. So nobody gave the mic review a good feedback. And again, I only can ask people because I'm talking to them. So they all complain about the mic quality. That sucks because if you're talking to people, especially your friends on a party, you don't want to be that guy with the shitty mic in the party just my opinion but the worst part about these headset just like previous afterglow similar to this is the padding is extremely cheap it's supposed to be over the ear but because the drivers are right here as you can hear it your ears are actually being pressed against the drivers as this has a tight belt to isolate sound so that what that means is when you take these off your ears are going to be somewhat sore I say within 40 minutes of wearing them that sucks because sometimes I do 3 hour live streams and I will have to take these off at least once or twice or maybe even more or probably not even be able to bear it so at the price point of $100 do I recommend these for me no because I need a good mic and I also want good comfort Afterglows are known for making or not Afterglow but PDP are known for making somewhat cheaper products and this is no exception with the very bad padding that was used in previous PDP that people complain about the afterglows so for this reason I can't fully recommend these these headsets are not for me um, I get these at 3 out of 5 and that's only because of the $100 price point but these are affordable you get good audio good range good battery life just bad comfort and a shitty mic so there you go guys my review of the new afterglow for the xbox one hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think if you have used these um what's your opinion on them and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace